Hey guys, DJ Breaks back for another Honest LEGO review. Today we are taking a look at a 2024 LEGO Star Wars set based off the uh, Season 7 of the Clone Wars uh, animated series. It is the Captain Rex Y-Wing Microfighter. It is set number 75391. Uh, and I paid its standard retail price of approximately $13 here in the United States. And this set has a fair bit of controversy to it, uh, mostly concerning the Captain Rex minifigure. Uh, that is the exact same uh, figure that is included in the last year's uh, $650 uh, UCS Venator. And we will get into that. Uh, but without further ado, let's start deconstructing the rest of the set. Starting as always uh, with that minifigure. If you look at that Captain Rex minifigure, as I said in the opening, he is the exact same version that came in the uh, Venator last year, uh, same helmet print, which is really nicely done, really accurate to uh, his appearance. He does come with a nice torso print, again, really accurate. Uh, he does come with that standard leg print uh, that the clone troopers use, where they just print on the sides of the comma and just not uh, have a cloth piece. And I really think that uh, the nice compromise here uh, for the no cloth would be them uh, wrapping the printing around the leg here and just dual molding the leg as well. He also does come with a nice uh, cloth pauldron as well. Uh, really nice that uh, that's included again. Uh, he does come with the uh, standard uh, Lego uh, machine gun piece to uh, kind of represent his uh, blasters that he has. And then both arms do retain their arm printing uh, from the uh, Venator set. Uh, that is really nice uh, to see that as well. Uh, you do have the helmet as well here. It does have the helmet holes. I really think that Lego should have should uh, remold the helmet and remold the accessories to uh, make them uh, work more better with each other. Uh, so we stop having this uh, back and forth complaint. Uh, but removing that helmet, you do have a nice uh, face print here. Uh, again, it's the same exact one that we get for the Venator where he has the little uh, bandage from having his chip removed. You have a nice uh, facial expression for uh, him as well. Really captures uh, Rex's kind of personality. Take a look at the main build of the set. While we have gotten uh, the Y-Wing uh, quite a few times in the Micro Fighter line already. Uh, this is a little bit of different build considering it's more based in the Clone Wars area. So the uh, pylons on the side are a lot more complete. Uh, it's very nicely built. Uh, those are pretty sturdy. Uh, there's a nice technique to keep them um, built together and stable. You do have the uh, iconic pink dishes there used to represent the engines. You have some nice uh, shaping to the front. I really like all the part usages there as well. Uh, you do have a little uh, cockpit area uh, where you can sit uh, the Captain Rex figure. And you've, you do have a pretty standard uh, control panel that we've seen a whole bunch of times in the Star Wars line. Uh, but Captain Rex just fits in there really nicely. Uh, you do have a little bit of a rounded tile they're using to represent kind of the bubble turret that's in the back there, but it's pretty nice. And then the big play feature with any micro fighter we get is uh, stud shooters. Uh, so you get the newer style mounted on either side of the vehicle. Uh, you get uh, flick fire missiles up here, also representing uh, the front facing cannons, but these just fire off uh, and they fire off some uh, some regular uh, trans red uh, tiles. Uh, they fire pretty good. Uh, they've, they're Lego standard uh, studs here, so they work pretty well. 
Take a look at the extra pieces you can expect for this set. You get a pretty uh, standard assortment of studs, tiles, Technic pens, and whatnot. You do get two extra red tiles here, uh, designated as extra shots for the stud shooters if you lose them. And then you also get a full array of the clone trooper uh, visors and antennas, uh, just the extra ones that are not used with the actual figure. Take a look at the instruction manual. It's uh, basically one small booklet. You get pretty standard stuff in here. You do get uh, the blurb about the celebrate the 25th anniversary here. Uh, it's split, split up into a couple bags for the build. You do have Captain Rex as a vendor uh, for the uh, little progress bar. At the back of the instruction manual, we do have this nice little cross cell for the June wave of Star Wars sets. It's pretty nice. It also takes 56 pages worth of building. And of course, at the back, you do have the parts inventory as well. As well, you, we have a clockwork robot for that product feed thing feedback thing on the back. Now look at the box, it's a standard uh, $10 size. Uh, you do have all the hallmarks of the LEGO Star Wars uh, packaging that we've been seeing for the past couple years. Uh, we just have a uh, yellowish orange stripe here uh, designating that it is a Clone Wars base set. Nice product shot of the set there in the front along the background of what looks like Geonosis or something. Uh, we do have uh, Captain Rex up at the top sporting the actual size uh, reference and then on the back uh, we do have a, a nice product shot of the set as well with uh, some uh, displays of the play features. So uh, again my final thoughts for the set uh, before we get into those uh, I want to address the controversy of Captain Rex here and uh, my stance is uh, I feel like they shouldn't have put him in the uh, $650 uh, vendor set and then marketed as an exclusive. Um, I don't think he should have been in there, period. I don't think they should have put a character like that, a highly desirable one, and then market him as exclusive there. Uh, so that has been my only issue with it. And I, I'm glad, even with that, uh, that they just put the full figure as is in this cheap uh, $13 set um, and they didn't dilute them down uh, they could have given him plain uh, white arms or plain blue arms they didn't they could have given him a uh, one of the generic uh, clone heads uh, but they didn't uh, considering Captain Max isn't really different from the rest of the clones facially except for the fact of his uh, blonde hair um, otherwise um, yeah, I, I just think he shouldn't have been in the Venator uh, to begin with. That, that is just my opinion. And uh, going into the actual figure, again, I brought this up in the review. I really like would like to see uh, side leg printing or dual molded legs or both uh, to improve the figure. And uh, we just need a new helmet mold uh, and new helmet accessory molds. Uh, just to end the whole helmet hole debate. Uh, that's what I think we need here. Uh, otherwise, the build is very good. It's uh, it's a typical microfire style that we see uh, with a nice little chibi build. It's very cute. It's very uh, playable for little kids and a little nice display piece. Um, however, again, in that price point, uh, it is $13. Um, these were previously $10 sets, uh, which tells me that either LEGO jacked up the price because they put uh, Captain Rex in here, or uh, they think that uh, the minifigure adds $3 of extra value to the set, uh, neither of which is a good uh, thing to me. Uh, so, uh, while the set is really good and it's everything, um, I highly re I highly uh, recommend a uh, sale. Uh, about like 20% off bring it back down to that uh, $10 price point uh, if you don't mind paying that $13 either I uh, wouldn't uh, begrudge you but overall 
So the set is going to get an 8.5 out of 10 for me. Again, highly recommend it. Uh, what do you guys think about it? Uh, what do you think of the Captain Rex uh, controversy? Uh, do you agree? Do you disagree? I always look forward to having those discussions with you guys in the comments. Uh, also, don't forget to like, uh, share, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Ring that bell, all that jazz. Really, really helps the channel out in the algorithm. And... Um, I will see you in the next video. Until next time, uh, keep building and have a great day.